Hey everyone, it's Casey Lemson again, uh, here to talk about Exchange 14. As a messaging server, Exchange has a long history of interoperability. We've always had to interoperate and exchange mail with other servers on the internet. We've also had a broad variety of clients supported and reams of documentation for developers to support publishing to those clients. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about today is Exchange Web Services, which is our API for accessing data in the Exchange Store. I'm sitting in Albert's office. He's going to show you guys a few examples of how you can use EWS to access data in the Exchange Store. Thanks, Casey. Uh, my name is Albert Koyman. I do the developer marketing in the technical product management team. And I'm working on, of all those APIs, on the key API on Exchange Web Services. In the next version of Exchange, Exchange Web Services is the only API that you can use in order to get to the data that is in the mail store. And that essentially means that you can build very powerful applications, like you can rebuild a complete Outlook on top of Exchange Web Services. That's essentially what we are doing for our Mac client, for Entourage. Entourage is using Exchange Web Services to build essentially Outlook on top of the Exchange Web Services API. Let me actually give you a small little example. Here, what we can show you is a small Vista gadget. A small Vista gadget that essentially shows everything that is in my inbox. If I click on this mail item, there's a flyout, and I can read what is inside the mail. And if I click on it again, it goes back. If I click on the bottom, I can go to the calendar, and I can see all my appointments. This Vista gadget is built on Exchange Web Services. And since it's built on web services, it's actually available across platform. So actually, let me now show you this, what it looks like when you're doing this on the Macintosh. The same gadget, same principle. That's, for example, what Apple does when they announce their new email client that is going to be part of the next release. It's also what Android does. Android of Google is using Exchange Web Services to actually import the contacts. So Exchange Web Services provides you to everything that is inside the Exchange mailbox and can actually be used for building very powerful applications. What is new in this new version of Exchange is that we have simplified the programming against Exchange Web Services dramatically. We are releasing in the next release of Exchange an Exchange Web Services managed API. So why is this important? This is important because now every Windows developer can use every functionality that comes with data from the Exchange Store inside their line of business application. Take, for example, this application. This application shows a calendar where people use the calendar to schedule appointments of deliveries. The deliveries can be scheduled fully automatically tied into the business process. Any Windows developer that has .NET skills, that knows how to develop .NET applications, will therefore be very easily able to build these type of applications using the managed API. It makes development on exchange even more easy than ever before. 